Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today, we will build a simple AI agent with tool calling capabilities. This AI agent will have access to two tools. First tool to perform a web search and second to query Wikipedia pages and answer the user's question. We'll use Langchain, Anthropic Function, Calling, and Simple Python tools. Before diving into the code, let's define what an AI agent and tool calling is. An AI agent is a large language model like GPT-4 that not only responds with text, but also knows how and when to use external tools like calling an application programming interface, running code, or querying databases to complete complex tasks. Think of an AI agent as a smart assistant with both. Reasoning ability via large language models. Action ability via tools we define. Instead of hard coding rules, we give it tools and let the LLM figure out which one to use based on the user's input. This way, an AI agent can provide answers about your data or your company's data. What is tool calling? Tool calling means the large language model chooses to call a specific external function a tool when it needs more data or functionality to answer a user's request. In Langchain and Anthropic, this works like this. We define Python functions called tools. We give those tools to the agent. When a user asks a question, the large language model will analyze the query and decide which tool, if any, to call. The result of the tool call is then passed back into the large language model, so it can form a complete final answer. Here is an example of tool calling. A user asks the model, what's the current stock price of Apple? The model realizes it doesn't have live data. Without tools, it won't be able to answer this question. It will check and call our tool to answer this question. Let's build this AI agent. We will use Jupyter Notebook to develop this AI agent. As usual, we import the required libraries at the top. You will need to install Langchain Libraries, Langchain Community, DuckDuckGo Search, and Wikipedia. I will include these libraries in a requirements.txt file in GitHub. First thing we need is the large language model. We will use Claude Sonnet. You can go to the following URL, create an account, and create an API key. You will need to add balance before you can utilize the key. I saved the key in a .env file. Now we can load it using the OS module. We define the model we want to use in the chatentropic function and save it as LLM. We can test the model by providing a question. We want to make sure we can invoke the model before proceeding to the next step. We print the output provided by the model. We can successfully call the Claude model. We have an answer from the model for our question. Next, we define the research tools. First tool is based on the DuckDuck Go Search Engine. It will search the web for the question posed by the user. The second tool will query the Wikipedia pages. We will grab the first result and cap our search result on 100 characters. We define a class called Research Parser. It uses Pydantic, a library that helps us define what kind of data we want and it will automatically validate and parse it. It inherits from base model, which comes from Pydantic. This will help us structuring the LLM outputs into predictable format. We will see this in action once we run the agent. We are defining a chat prompt template using Langchain. This template controls how the messages are structured before they are sent to a language model. It uses different role system, human, placeholder to guide the behavior of the AI assistant in a tool using agent setup. This tells the LLM how to behave. The system message tells the model how to behave. In this scenario, it should behave like a research assistant. It should use tools if needed, and the output should follow the format instructions that we have defined in the research parser class. Everything inside the curly braces are placeholders that will be filled later at runtime. Chat history and agent scratch pad 
are required by the prompt template. These are borrowed straight out of the Langchain documentation. We only provide the human query. This is the question we pose to the model. The format instructions are passed via the partial method. Finally, let's create an AI agent. We create a tool calling agent. It requires a language model, prompt, and tools. We list the tools we have defined, and they are passed to the agent here. Let's try out this research agent and see how it performs. We can see its reasoning ability and tool calling functionality. We invoke the agent using the agent executor. The verbose flag gives the details of what steps the agent is taking to reach the final answer. We provide our questions in Python dictionary format. This will replace the human query in the chat prompt template. We parse the response and get the structured output. We can see the agent goes into the agent executor chain. It invokes Wikipedia with our question, so it is calling the tool we have defined. It gets a response from the web search. Once the chain is completed, we receive a formatted response. We see our topic, the summary. This is the answer to our question. What sources it used, and finally, what tools were used to answer this question. So there you go, we have developed our first AI agent in Python using various search tools. Hopefully, this gave you a good introduction to the AI agents and what's involved in developing your own AI agent. This is an exciting new ecosystem, and it's evolving very rapidly. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed this session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.